Hello everybody and welcome to Season 25 Pokemon NASCAR Series All-Star Weekend. This season, we're taking the All-Star Weekend over to Eldora Speedway, the legendary dirt oval. And it's sure to be a fun weekend with bumping and banging. And these cars will go down and dirty, all for pride, all for bragging rights. <laughs> Nothing's on the line in the All-Star Weekend, but it's for bragging rights, and it's something I like to do in the middle of the season. Why not have an All-Star Race? Why not have the best of the best, truly, from this season face off against each other for pride and for bragging rights? I thought I figured, why not? And since this is this is the 25th season of the series, this is going to be uh, going to be really special because... It's held at Eldora, so it's going to be the first ever Dirt All-Star Race we've ever had. So I'm very excited to bring you guys coverage of this, of this weekend here at the world-famous Eldora Speedway. But first up, we will start off with the All-Star Showdown. We have 22 cars in the showdown, 18 drivers by the way, 18 of the 40 drivers that are in the series this season. 18 are in right now in the All-Star Race. And uh, they're in by getting at least one victory in this season. Or they're in the top five in points without a win. So that, uh, that thing applies to two drivers. But for the All-Star Weekend, we have the All-Star Showdown, I should say. We have 22 cars in the field that are trying to... F that'll fight for two spots into the All-Star Race. That way we can make it an, an even 20. That would mean half the field would race in the all-star race itself i thought it'd be fair but anyway this is the showdown and each there will be two segments and each segment will last 20 laps the winner of each segment of course will advance to the all-star race so of course there'll only be two drivers out of the showdown that will move on to the all-star race if we get a caution that normally ends a race this applies only to segment two of the showdown if we get a caution that would normally end the race, we will have a two-lap green-white checker. And uh, we c we'll have as many green-white checker attempts as we can, as we could, until we get a clean run to the white flag. And then we would race it back to the caution, if the caution were to come out during the white flag lap, <laughs> during the final lap of segment two in the showdown. So only two drivers from the showdown will advance over to the all-star race. Here's your lineup for the showdown. Igor Barreto is your pole setter. Paul Barber is also on the front row. Followed by Gabriel Wanderlei and Kramika Jazen. Then there's Johnny Gardner and O'Neill Balvin. Then you have Hudson and Lewis. Then Sachs and Stoudemire Jr. Then Hawkins and Gordon. Jay Jefferson and Milliken. Luke Walker and Dylan Young. Magnus and Ragow. Tord Larson and and Pichu, and finally, Shazaz and Leia Walker. Those drivers will compete for two spots to the All-Star Race. The winner of each segment gets a spot into the All-Star Race. There are two segments of 20 laps each. And we would have a green-white checker if only after segment two it would normally end under yellow. Here we go, the green flag will come out here in the All-Star Showdown. right now so far so good here comes Jazzin though trying to make a charge surprised that Jazzin has not won this season we have a rack Wanderlei spins couple cars have spun Jefferson Hawking they'll race it back can the 43 hang on he will just barely let's see if anybody else spins oh wow Luke Walker Walker spins and here's the 98 getting caught up in the smoke in the dirt storm and Dylan Young's involved. Let's take a look at what happened to Gabriel Wanderlei. Started off loose. Yep, he started off really, really loose into the wall and then right into Nathan Hudson. 
And there's Jay Jefferson, Alex Hawkins, and Alex Ragow involved as well. Already a messy start to this race, but at least we got two laps in, so might be a preview of what's to come here today, tonight. So far, so good. We're about to get back to the green here at Eldora. And we're green again. So far, no changes. Alvarado smacks. I think Jazz will try to high line. Can't do it. She tried to get the lead on the high line. She can't do it. Might have another chance soon. Oh boy. Things are getting down and dirty. Johnny Gardner going to go for second place. Looks like the pole setter might have the advantage. You never know what could happen in Eldora, so things get a little dicey. Gardner's in the wall. Can he save it? No. Gordon's involved as well. He spins. And it's going to come down the final couple laps in segment one, and Barreto hangs on. Just barely hangs on. Now we see a couple more out of the ra out out of segment one. They'll have to try again in segment two. Not sure how many laps we have left here in segment one, but we're gonna have one to go next time by. So now we have we're gonna have four laps to go in segment one, and then the the other drivers will have a chance, another chance at segment two. Maybe staying second would be an advantage for segment one for segment two as Barreto has not lost the lead since we're starting on the pole here in segment one. We'll see if Barreto can hang on though. And the pace car will roll down to the track. Another chance for these guys to make their moves. Four to go in segment one. This is gonna get pretty interesting. Riding on the walls, this could be a close battle here. Sachs looks low, can he, does he get the chance? No, three to go for Barreto. Here we go, they're up against the wall again. Jazzin might try to lock, find for second place. Not there yet, two to go in segment one. Go. We're going to come to the white flag in segment number one. Will Barreto hang on? Here we go. Final corners for Barreto. Can he advance the all-star race from the pole? And I believe he can. Igor Barreto is going to be the first driver to lock his ticket to the all-star race. Surprised that we went clean on the final couple laps, but Igor Barreto gets the job done and he is in the all-star race. And now let's show you the rest of the results. This will be the starting order for segment two, except Barreto is going to move on to the all-star race. So he's not going to compete in segment two. He's already in the show. So that is it from us in segment one and segment two is coming up. Here we go, segment two is about to get underway with Abby Sachs starting on the pole today. <laughs> There's still crowd, and the crowd is wild here, folks. Now the crowd has died down. Huh. And whoa, Ragao is not gonna get his car going to start off segment two. Won't matter as the green flag waves here in segment number two of the All-Star Showdown. Oh wow, Sachs off to a great start. Abby Sachs loving this pole position right now. Oh boy, could this be a battle going on? Ooh, they're gonna hit the wall. 
And Stonmar Jr. is going to cut in, going to go for third place. And he does. He gets third away. And now he might try to get second away. Caution's out. Right in the nick of time. Oh, seven flips. Oh, man, the seven flips upside down. And cars are wrecking behind them. Wow. The caution just came out when they just, just when they crossed the start finish line. And Chazaz was trying to slow down for the yellow. That was pretty quick, though. Right there, the yellow came out. Chazaz looked like he would have been Stoudemire out of the line. Then, though, he comes up to the wall and flips. Wow, he just flips upside down a couple times. Oh, man, that is ugly. Another car slipping and sliding. And the wreck caution was out for, I think, Emmanuel Magnus. And he, yep. Slips up onto the track and spins. He is taken out by the walls. And the seven is not going to get back on track. He is done. That was a hard. That, that, those were a hard couple of flips. But will Avi Sachs hold on? Green. Ah, oh, I just skipped over it. Dang it. But it looks like, though, no changes in the front. Sachs leads again. Going to come down to 10 to go here in segment two. And I apologize if I skipped a little bit over. I know. I. Was I just didn't get it in time. Track goes by so fast. It's just too quick. Sorry. But anyway. Five laps to go here for Avi Sachs. Will he hang on to advance to the all-star race? Remember, this is segment two. If we get a caution that normally ends the race, we'll have a two-lap green-white checker finish. So, we'll see if these guys can keep it clean for the final five laps in Eldora. Battle for second. Ooh, Johnny Garner trying to sneak his way to second. And he won't be able to do so. Or will he? Oh man, this is going to be very close. Three to go. Pichu trying to get third place. He will, maybe. No, he's not going to get there yet. Ooh boy. Two to go, and Eldora the caution's out. Wow. Caution comes out, and this is going to set up a green, white, checker finish. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get right onto it. So a green white checker finish is coming up. Ooh, a little bump there by the 88. But nevertheless, though, we are going to have a green white checker here at Eldora. Here we go, folks. The cars are about to roll as we're going to have a two lap green white checker to determine who will, have, who will take the final spot here in the All Star Showdown. Who will be the last car to transfer into the All-Star race? We'll have two laps to figure it out. Here we go. Pace car comes down. And we're about to go green in this two-lap green-white checker restart. Sachs is doing a good job so far. Look at Stoudemire Jr. though. Trying to fight back. Garner trying to sneak his way in. White flag comes out. Will be green. Here we go. Johnny Garner out of nowhere trying to sneak in. Final corners. Side by side for the final spot of the All-Star Race. It's going to go to Johnny Gardner. What a move he made. Johnny Garner is in the All-Star Race. What a finish. After Sachs had dominated segment two, it came down to green-white checker, and Johnny Garner gets 
the win. What a finish. Garner, he fought back hard. He knew an all-star spot was on the line. And Johnny Garner, excellent job at going through the field and able to collect the win and the final spot into the all-star race. And what a heartbreak for Abby Sachs. And he drops to third. Jazzin is second. Jazzin snuck in second. There's Hawking's fourth. And let's get the final orders right here. As there was no caution, everybody stayed alive. And yep, everyone did stay alive. Wow, close call. But Johnny Garner gets the win in segment two. Jazz in second. Sachs third. Hawkins fourth. Fifth is Stoudemire Jr. Sixth is Barber. And the rest is Pichu, Leia, Luke Walker. Hudson, wait, Leia's 8th, Peach 7th, 8th, 9th, 8th and 9th for, Le wow, they all finished the top 10, huh, Hudson 10th, Milliken, Balvin, Wanderlei, Jefferson, Lewis, Larson, Gordon, Young, Ragow, Cezaz, Magnus, in that order, and so it goes to Johnny Garner, the final spot into the all-star race, so the number 2 is in the race, and here we go, it's time for the main feature, the main show you've been waiting for, the All-Star Race. Here we are folks, it is time now for the Season 25 All-Star Race. The lineup's on the left of your screen, and starting on the pole is Ryan Casey. Then there's Joshua Sacully, Crash, Lawler, Guerrera, Kirker, Smart, Amdev, McPherson, Voiles, Rogers, Richardson, Hagen, Arnett, Andrews, Fitzwater, Braley, Maxwell, and our two showdown winners, Igor Barreto and Johnny Gardner. And what is the, the all-star race? The difference is, is that there will be there'll be two 25-lap segments compared to 20 laps. Uh, the both segments were in the showdown. The all-star race will have 25-lap segments. There'll be two. And, of course, the green-white checker rule applies if we get a caution that normally ends the race only in segment two. Then we will have a green-white checker. We'll have unlimited attempts um, at a green-white checker until we get a two-lap dash to the finish. Here we go, folks. This is all for bragging rights, and this is segment one. It's going to be a really fun weekend here at Eldora. Pace car comes down. The green flag will come out here. At Eldora Speedway. The All-Star Race is underway. And Casey's off to a great start. Oh boy, Casey's in the wall. And Jacob Waller takes the lead. Oh no, he gets into Casey. Oh man, they get into Casey and they're flipping right away. Wow, what a start to this all-star race, man. Casey got right into, Lawler got right into Ryan Casey just as soon as he made the pass. He's trying to clear the 41. And then I don't know what happened, but Lawler got right into Casey and they both crash out. How weird is that? And McPherson gives the 41 a wild ride. Maxwell's involved. Hagen's involved as well. He gets caught up. Still only the first segment though. And let's see who won the race back to the line. It was... I think it was the 6. Yes it was. Kirker got it by just inches. Kirker was able to get the lead. What an eventful start to the all-star race. Already some fireworks with the leaders here in segment number one. Two cars out of segment one, but don't worry, they'll be back in segment two because I want to give everybody a fair shot of a comeback. Still a very fun thing we like to do, and it's going to be a... And yeah, it's, this is going to be a great restart. Kirker is the leader now as pace car comes down again. We're about to go back to the green. Here we go, back to the green here at Eldora. Oh boy. Still
still very uh, still up and down and oh look at this the six trying to get in oh mdev was trying to make a pass couldn't quite get there john ornett spins garner's involved as well he gets hit and the caution will come out no changes for the lead kirker remains as your leader and everybody else oh crashes up in the wall so is Cody Hagen. Hopefully they'll be back to recover. Man, oh man. We're gonna go back to the green flag here next time by. This is just segment one, and Gardner is out of segment one. But still a lot of implications here. Pace car coming down with 11 to go in segment one. Kirker trying to hang on for dear life. Back to green. Still anybody's race here at Eldora as DJ Kirker trying to hang on. As you can recall on the start of the first segment, the leader's racked out, so Kirker's trying to avoid that disaster. Ooh, he's in the wall. Here comes Matthew Mdev. He looks low. Can he have a chance for the race lead? Can he do it? Here comes the wall. Will they be careful of the wall? Man, they just barely avoid the wall. And more drivers getting up in the... If, up. Oh, Arnett spins again. Arnett just spun out again. Wow. And Cody Hagen is up in smoke. Cody Hagen is, can't get his, ooh, got into the 95. And with that, segment one, gonna have just a few laps left. We're gonna have three to go. Segment one, let's see if they're gonna fight it for it, or they're just gonna try to save it for the best. Oh no, MDev spins, and he stays in the in the running wow still though that'll end segment one dj kirker no surprise stays up in front able to get the first segment let's make it official kirker is your segment one winner so that is official now and we'll look at the standings as they'll be the starting order for segment number two also 25 last but this time we get a caution that would end the race under normal circumstances. We'll have a two lap green white checker to the finish. So it's gonna be an exciting finish coming up here in segment number two, as here, as we're gonna be taking you there right now. Here we go, folks, in segment number two. This is it, 25 laps to determine who will win the all-star race here in Eldora. DJ Kirker, who, would, who led the first segment on the pole. Let's see if there is going to be more implications today. As we're about to go to the green flag here in segment two in Eldora. Going to be a race to the finish here. And DJ Kirker leads the field. Boy, here comes MDev. He wants this lead badly. And this time, though, he's not going to wreck in front of the leader. Oh, he's going to force six up high, and MDev leads. Kirker, oh no! 83 spins. 27 has spawn. And Kirker has dropped to fifth on the start. Wow. My goodness. Like the race has been pretty much decided on the start. But if we get a green white checker finish, that's a benefit. But wow, what an eventful start to the segment. And MDev leads, looks to win here in the All-Star today. Only Richardson was affected. And we're gonna have one to go next time by before we get to the green. Pace car coming down pit road. And here we go. 
We will continue with segment two with MDev leading and he gets a good jump. A lot of people are earning their stripes today. Oh, Richardson's up in front. Uh-oh. Lapped car ahead. James Richardson, the 17. Let's hope he doesn't play a factor for the 22. Here they come. Caution's out. We had a spin in the back. And MDev is going to take care of the 17 easily. Able to get through with no problem. Oh, man. He gets hit hard by the lap tra traffic. My goodness. I hope that doesn't affect his running right now because he hit MDev pretty hard. Trying to avoid the yellow. Big mess in the front. Daniel Royals is hit. 27 is hit by Sir Cully. The 15 is hit. Wow. And Sir Cully is out. Here we go. We're going to get back to the green here. With 10 to go in segment 2. MDev, can he hold on? He has the advantage of the lap car behind him. So we'll see if that will play a factor. We're back to green. Oh, man. It's going to be hard for the second place 83 to get by. Oh, no, they make contact and they spin. 83 spins and a big wreck in the back. Yikes. Is there a caution? I thought there wasn't. Oh, I thought there wasn't, but there is. Sigh of relief. Big mess in the back. Oh, and this time M. Devil Boyd goes around it. But what it sets up, it'll be a final couple laps dash. Three to go in segment two. Oh no, never mind. We'll have two laps to go in segment number two. If we get a caution before the white flag, we will have a green white checker finish. And thank goodness the 83 stays second. As MDev trying to hang on for the win. He's got the lap car to his advantage, James Richardson. We'll see if he can hang on to win. Here we go. Pace car will come down. There'll be two laps to go. This is not a green white checker attempt. It's just a regular two laps to go. But here we go. Pace car comes down. We'll see who wins. Green flag comes out. It looks like Matthew's gonna get a good clean run. We're coming to the white flag and no caution, so that means this race will end under green. One to go. Is it going to end under green? It will. It will end under green. Last chance for these guys to come back. Here they come. Ornett Kirker battling for the race win. Final corner. Who's it going to be? Three wide. It's going to be. I don't know. They're saying Kirker won. And DJ Kirker wins. Oh, man. They were three wide for the win. <laughs> And DJ Kirker wins by inches. Let's see who won that race. Wow. I it was really 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 close. But I have to say it was it was DJ Kirker who won. <laughs> my goodness. I thought MDev was gonna pull away with the victory, then all of a sudden these two came along and raced hard for the win. <laughs> this was a really Really exciting finish, and DJ Kirker narrowly gets the victory in the All-Star Race. What a finish! A three-wide battle for the win! That's amazing! Oh, man! The final margin was seven one thousand one seven one thousandths of a second. Oh, man! That is one heck of a finish here in Eldora. That's what we're talking about here. I didn't expect to finish like this, but 
DJ Kirker out of nowhere gets the win. And he swept both segments in the All-Star race and made a wild finish at the end. Talk about a real show. <laughs> Just look at that finish, man. Three white for the win. Doesn't get any better than this. Just amazing. And DJ Kirker hangs on, beats out the other two to win the All-Star Race. What a phenomenal finish to an incredible weekend here at Eldora. I really thought MDev was going to pull away with this, but then these two came along. I don't know how they did it. And I don't know how Kirker did it on the restart. He was able to find some miracle of speed. Was able to win. Just a very, very close finish. Came down the wire. And Kirker able to hang on by inches for the victory. Just an amazing finish here in the All-Star Race. It's got to be the closest All-Star Race we've ever had this ever had. No doubt about it. Surely Eldora is just amazing. Wow. But anyway, that is it from us here in All-Star Weekend. World Tour 25 will begin in our next race, and that'll be in Calder Park in Australia. And for those of you wondering, well, we're going to be heading down to the Ovals first. The Ovals will be up first this season, and then it's the road courses so that... They don't have to adjust to road courses quickly. And they'll have time to they'll have time to make it through. So <laughs> anyway, that's it from the All-Star race. What a finish to the end. I mean, three wide for the race win. I've never had that before. But by inches, DJ Kirker wins in Eldora. And that is it from us here. We will see you when the world tour begins in Australia, down under the home, the home country of Zachary Fitzwater. We'll see if he can repeat what he did in the Indy, in the Pro Series when he won in his home track uh, in the IndyCar Series. We'll see if he can repeat that in the in the Pullman NASCAR Series. This is going to be fun. So World Tour 25 begins next race. We hope you enjoyed this All Star Weekend, and we will see you there. Man, what a finish.